I mean, given enough time, I'm sure I could develop a pulse chip, and I'm not sure if it would be, uh, how long it would take, how much money someone would have to pay me to do it. <laughs> okay, so we got a good solution in November. Wow, a Sierra is right here. Uh, if he's beneath the lair... Oh, he's very close to picking me up. Uh, he seemed... Let's... Uh, let's come this way. I'm gonna try and get in his baffles. We are so close to this dude. This is sketchy as shit. Bliat? Think you're funny, huh? <laughs> Uh, I can... Let me at least break for silent running. The Sierra does not know I'm here. If he was pinging, he would get a nice, juicy return. But I'm turning here, so that's got to be reduced. I may just skirt beneath active detection range. But 3.4 kill yards, that's less than 2 miles. <clears throat> now, the way it works is that they don't first get contact until 10 decibel and then they can start tracking me underneath 10 decibel what's the oh my god that is freaky holy crap hello oh he's turning he is <laughs> dude he is turning he is like presenting himself right now <laughs> Oh, he is turning and just... But he does have a toad pod. But his toad is not deployed. I can put a torp right up his butt right now. And the Novembers as well. And then I can boogie knights on... Okay, a mid. A mid. Oh, give me two one. Uh, Sierra. Oh, man. Okay, so we are good. We are good. Get, hold on to your pants, everyone, because we are doing it. Fire one. November solution, hello. Uh, give me tube two, and then fire two. And then let's, uh, let's uh, turn right. Let's dive. Let's get out of here. Two thirds. Oh, man. Oh, Betty. Oh, Betty. Oh, Betty Boo. Ooh, snap. Was that a pun? Snap the wire. Uh, I know if his toad's deployed because it would say, like, zero for his toad. If it was, like, not reading me, it should say negative 50. But if it was seeing me, it should say something else. So we're getting our good old, uh, good old sidestep going on here. And we're crash diving. Okay, let's, uh up it a little bit. Okay, they're pinging now. We can take off the rudder. Let's get down here. Man, we're diving. Our torp is about to turn active. He may get off a counter shot or something here. Okay, torp, come on. Turn active. When did I set you to enable? Uh, let's not crush. Let's level out. Okay, come on, Torp. Come on. Come on. May have to get another Torp out here. He kind of sidestepped. Oh, oh, thank God. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, just got off a countermeasure. Oh, boy. I'm going to come right. I'm going to come the other way. Come due east. Okay, that's the Mark 40 is going to snake back around. Oh, that Sierra's making for 33 knots. He's putting some holes in the water. Okay, contact faded. That's fine. The Torp still sees him. <laughs> oh, he's being he's being a shysty little schnucka. Okay, let's let's level out here. What am I doing? I'm fine. I'm down here. That November, I lost. No, I'm still holding that November. Let's get back to this Torp. It's a pretty big sensor angle. 
Oh, there's me. Hello. But the torp seems to have something. The pings are increasing in frequency. It's about to get a hit any second now. Oh, he just let out a counter Oh, boom. There you go. He is done. And the it's showing up in the wrong place. Daria go. Rest in pieces, kind sir. I meant nothing by that. It's just rest in pieces. Just sounds funny. Okay, this torpedo, I think, has just gone active. Let us come due south and rise. Give me some rise on the plane. Let's come shallow. Ugh. Potassium's in the sodium group, isn't it? So yeah, that whole group of the periodic table reacts reacts with water in some kind of way. At least fire, sometimes explosions. <laughs> uh, Soviet subs would NM-1096, but American subs would not. Oh, whoa, I, I got him. Okay, look at that. I didn't even see me hit him. <laughs> I was too busy talking. <laughs> well, there you go. November. There's your November for you right there. First Russian nuclear submarine. Secondary explosions. Oh man, got him right right in the command center. That's rough. Usually you get him like a stern. Thank you, Mr. Kyle. Thank you, Mr. Versetti. Hey, Tommy Versetti, where's my money? <laughs> These pants are a little tight in the crotch region. Yeah, me too, me too. Okay. <laughs> Toothpaste tubes? That's true. Hello, Pip Boomer. It's a weird... The November's a weird design. It was the first with Teardrop, but then it has, like, the frickin', like, vertical beaver tail at the back. I don't know. It's a weird design. They sent diesels to the Cuban Missile Crisis because they were having issues with nuclear boats and undergoing a complete redesign of them because they were so unsafe. That is why they sent diesel subs to the Cuba. Uh, if they have survival gear, it's supposedly... I didn't slow down. Supposedly 600 feet in this game, but we can leave the area. Alrighty, what are my orders? I don't even know what my orders are. Oh, it's going from Arhangelsk to the Greenland Sea. We're supposed to find them and take them out. I don't think I reloaded tubes. Okay. Let us uh, proceed slowly up to this area. Oh, they put a green they put a green square on Holy Lock now in the update. That's nice. Let's kind of fish around here for something. They said they were sending someone from Arhangelsk to kind of come around here and do a resupplenishment thing. What do we got? News update. Lost ground in Norway. Very well. That may be the resupplenishment group right there. Resupplenishment? Is that even a word? The replenishment group? There's. It looks like there's two surface ships. Where are these guys going? Oh, hello. Uh, I don't want to get at you from behind. Let's kind of just sit here for a second. Oh, is he just sitting there? Yes, the November has two screws. Well, the November at least has a teardrop bow, but it does not have the uh, the teardrop rear that comes to like a point. I will do 15 kilo yards. Hello, Hoxie Fernandez. Let's do it. Resupply and ascending. <laughs> What's the range? Let's slow down to one third. Ooh, it's nighttime. Oh, hello. I can even. S Is that an iceberg? Iceberg, bright ahead. Let's go ahead and try and see what we've got on the signature on this dude here. <laughs> Get out of submarines. There could be a submarine here, but I don't think it's a submarine off the bat. A dawn. Dawn. 
Done. And then we got another one over this way, Sierra 1. Very similar sound frequency, but not the same. Canyon. So the Don is the, is the replenishment boat, and that we are very close to. Let us come... We're going to come left. Conditions, no layer. Not seeing any... Well, it's a Don, so I guess it doesn't have any sonar stuff, so let's speed it up. Push it to the limit. There are no helicopters, no air support. Nice. No, the K-19 was a hotel. Pretty sure it was a submarine. No, it was literally... The, the class was literally called Hotel. <clears throat> I want to try and get some bearing rate on this Don here. Don. It should really be Don. It's uh, even around here. I guess I could just go to periscope depth. Let's just do that. We will go to per. I'm going to slow to one third so I don't cavitate. But that cannon, this is we're in a very good position. This Don is defenseless. If there aren't any helicopters in the area, <laughs> missile. Ooh, new contact. New contact. New contact. Let's level everything out and try and see who this guy is. Cashin. I like how it's just one over. Very good. Let's uh let's come right some more. We're gonna go with a passive torp against the Don. The Don. <laughs> No, I'm going to do it active. He's going kind of slow. Uh, this is pretty good. Let's raise the scope. What's our uh, conditions? 84 decibel? Looks like it should be noiser. Some kind of rough seat. Uh, yeah, there's got to be ice, some, some ice, some icebergs. That is the Don. There's the Kosh and the Conan. Okay, very well. Periscope. Hello. And hello. A little closer in. That's an iceberg, which I can mark. Hello. And hello, iceberg. Okay. 1.2 kiloyards. That is not correct. Let's try and get that mark again. There you go. 16.3. Okay, they're a little further away. They're a little further away. We cannot launch just yet. Where am I looking? This way? There's your Don. I guess I can turn that on. Uh, let's lower. That's a flag, okay. They are a little further away than I thought. Uh, they can't hear. None of these guys can hear me for crap right now. So let's uh, let's get a little closer. I just got out of junior high. Oh, it's a Krivak. Okay. Let's see this Don. I guess we can stay in the baffles. Let's kind of move up. Yeah, about this way. But let's keep diving. And we're going to up it to two thirds here. Try and gain some ground. Uh, the max depth here is greater than a thousand feet. We lost contact with the Krivak. Did this say anything about a duct? I'm not seeing anything on the map. I didn't hear anything about a duct or anything. But, uh, yeah, we should be able to hit two-thirds here and not cavitate very well. Good. Because we have to at least do this to frickin' just catch up with the dude. But these guys can't even hear. I could do standard. These guys can't even hear me for crap right now. But not in the greatest position. Aces of the Deep. I guess it sounds kind of familiar. Hello, Marcus. Okay, let's do standard now. Oh, don't do standard yet, then. <laughs> Man, that Conan is negative 50 on everything. I'm, I, I'm directly in his baffles. He doesn't have a toad. So, yeah. D. 
do the standard then. I'm gonna lose him on the. I'm gonna get the contact faded because of simply washout speed for the toad. I don't know why I just like rubbed my chest. I don't guess. I guess you guys didn't see that, <laughs> so that's fine. Don't worry about it. <sighs> Pretty good, Marcus. Haven't seen you in a while. PC speaker, like it came out of like your case speaker. <laughs> All right, we are gaining some ground on these dudes. Gaining some ground. I guess we're gonna get into about 10 kill yards and probably launch them. This Don is not very fast. I could probably launch now and hit it, honestly. This music is much more intense than is what than what is warranted. I have 10 torpedoes left, okay. No, I'm surprised they don't have any helos aloft right now. Hello, Duncan Cook. How are you? <laughs> well, yeah, I guess back in the day, all they had was like 8-bit sounds, so I guess that could have worked. But that beeping that it would make, it always sounded so freaking accusatory. Like, how dare you mess with me and break me? I'm going to grab some water. Yes, cold waters is your game. What's up? It looks great for DX9. Does it have to be DX11 just because? I know, there's a lamp fetish. No, Cold Waters is... Cold Waters focuses much more on the tactics of it. Like, if you're a, a, a sloppy commander, you will be killed promptly in Cold Waters. Oh, that does suck. That sucks a hachi, as my mom would say. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's just time lapse. There's no need to watch this. Oh, they're maneuvering. They're maneuvering. Maneuvering right for me, right where I want them. Krivak reestablished. Slow down to two thirds. Okay, well they're going faster. So let's speed up. <laughs> um, going right up as. But right up there. Oh, get in there. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I apologize. All these bastards, they're driving. They're pinging. Can they hear me? Oh, oh, it doesn't frickin' oh. It doesn't lag on the sonar speed up anymore. Yes. Krivak, can't see me for crap. Uh, can I go to full without cavitating? No. Let's get a little deeper. I need to catch up to these bastards. Freaking, they may, it seems like they've almost, it almost seems like they've detected me. <laughs> a Hachi, sucks a Hachi. I don't know what my mom says that. <laughs> All right, I should be able to go full now. Yes, level out. Speed up. I can still see the Don at full speed. That's how you know it's a loud boat. Alright, they're going 10 knots. Let's slow down to standard then. Alright, we should be good here. No, don't do that. Uh, two thirds is fine. Slow down. Let us come right. Try and reacquire them on another sensor. Because this solution has gone to poop. Since I went full. See you later, Bjorn. Thanks for coming. Am I going to do a review? I could. I've never done a review before. Uh, DW simulates... Yeah, anti-air defense systems to some extent, but not anti-torp systems. Okay, there's your Don. There's your boy. Am I still ruddering? No. Yeah, come like this. Kanin reestablished. Krivak. Interesting. Kanin. That's interesting. That doesn't seem to corroborate doing 10 knots. That seems to be rather high. Those signal strength, signal to noise ratios. Shouldn't this say SNR? Why does it say SNS?
All right, where's this Don at? Okay, I think we have ourselves a firing solution here on this Don. Seems to be pretty solid. Yeah, now it's solid. Okay, let's go ahead and turn to bear. The Don is at least what we want. We could potentially go for other dudes. We could try some harpoons. There still aren't any planes aloft. Yeah, let's get a harpoon. Get some harpoons, have some harpoon fun there. I'm gonna go ahead and just put Mark 48 on that. I'm not gonna use a moss. Okay. Let's go back to that Don. Uh, this tube. Chow. <laughs> oh, a Captain Tupolev killed by. I thought you said a catfish. I was like, why do you have a catfish? Okay, let's go ahead. Match bearings and fire. Captain, we are too close. The torpedo's armed in the tubes. Do it now. Let's come left a little more. That angle does not seem to corroborate with the angle of my boat, but fine. We'll come more left. So as to prevent wire snappage. There you go. <clears throat> Marcus is not Italian. <laughs> well, subs... The only reason in Dangerous Waters that they really have AA weapons is because they need a way to for multiplayer to even it out against helos and P3s. Otherwise, there's no way for subs to do anything. It's pretty much there for a... Yeah, I'm going to turn that... I'm going to put this back a little bit. It's pretty much just there for like a gameplay perspective. Okay, he seems to be hearing that torp now. Or something. So I wouldn't expect to see any anti-air missiles from submarines. There weren't any tube-launched ones at this point in time, I don't think. Let's move this more, like, here. <clears throat> God damn it. I was taking a drink of water, and it kind of splashed and hit me in the face. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, that's what she said. Yeah, get it out there. <laughs> clockwise and counter counterclockwise. Uh, there can be NM, but I don't think the weapon systems are on or, are modeled too accurately. How many props does that thing have? Looks like three or four, or blades. Mister Argus, hello. I'm gonna move this a little further up still. It is, these bastards can't see me for crap right now. They got no clue what's going on. I'm going to give both of them a harpoon when the time comes. And we'll see what happens. It should be fun. <laughs> fun for the whole family. Oh, where's that, where's that Torp at? Where's that Don at? Hello. Thank you, Sawyer. I'm sorry I keep pronouncing your name that way, but that's how we Americans say it. <laughs> Ooh, we got ourselves a lock. Oh, no, not just yet, but he'll get there soon. There you go. <laughs> Marcus, you're brutally like, false. You're like frickin', uh, what's his face? Dwight from the office, false. Yeah, I'm, I I think I'm gonna download 1.42 after this stream. I want to make like a 1.42 change log video, just explaining the cool things I've seen in the change log. And we're about to go right up. Let's actually get shallow so we can get to a periscope depth. Boom! Damn! That was probably pretty loud, I'm sorry, but that was a big explosion. <laughs> the music in this game is supreme. I always turn the music off in Dangerous Waters, but the music in this game is awesome. I love, like, this music right now is so frickin', like, tension building. Like, I love it, and it only shows up at night. This cannon is bearing right down on my ass. 
I don't have the luxury of a freaking. I don't have a luxury of a, of a harpoon. I gotta launch now. That guy's bearing down on my ass. I don't have the luxury of a harpoon for him. Holy shit. <laughs> I can just watch this from here. Look at this. Uh oh. Is the torp missing? Shit, the wire broke. Oh, he's shooting RBUs at my ass. Reload. Holy crap. Oh god. Oh god. Uh, dive. 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 Get out of here. Dive. Oh god, that was so close for that Mark 48 snake and back around to my ass. Holy shit. Oh my god, that was scary. Someone's launching something, I can hear that. Oh, there's the RBUs again. Keep her, keep her diving. Oh, the torp missed again. What's going on? Is he dropping countermeasures, noisemakers, or something? <clears throat> Passing the Thor's twin, Captain. Oh, it's it's turning right back into him. That's going to be a hit right there. Boom. Yeah. Woo. Where's that damn Krivok? That guy's coming my way, too. Alright, come hard left. Keep ahead standard. Oh, you're American, too? Okay, very well. But yeah, I've always said Sawyer. This Krivok has to go down, too. <clears throat> Alrighty, we're just about ready to fire here. Oh, I ordered some up angle. That's fine. Do this. Slow down to two thirds. And let's fire. Come right a little bit. Try and keep that wire intact. I like using active torps. You can use passives against surface ships. But I'm just I just always want to be assured of a lock. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that climb angle right there. I always forget I can I can steer these dudes, so we we who <laughs> Yeah, I get turning. Krivok is a bigger boat. I keep confusing a Krivok for a Grisha, but a Krivok is a big boat. Krivok is a big boat. It's like a destroyer. My apologies, but there you go. Did any of them get a helicopter aloft? They did not. So we can secure from that. There you go. Moss. To put marks back in these tubes. So unfortunately, they found me towards the end, so I couldn't use harpoons, but we got them. And this is a permit too. I might up the difficulty. This is on, this is with a permit. This is a default difficulty NM. So the second loudest American boat in the game. These Finns, and this, as in like people from Finland, or which Finns? Like these Finns, these stabilizers. Alrighty, well, let's depart the area. The Talostrayans. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the word wog. <laughs> I like that NM. This seems too easy, or I'm too good. Hmm. I, I shut up the difficulty. Well, that, that's a superb effort in locating and eliminating the enemy's ability to replenish their submarine force. New orders to be transmitted on this downlink. I love that trans-American accent. Uh, Skipjack should be louder. Mr. Duncan Cook. What do we got here? Another bronze star? Silver star? Well, I never got why the silver star is frickin' gold. For conspicuous... What does that mean, conspicuous gallantry? And intrepid, intrepidity? Inspiring initiative and unwavering devotion very well I think that's a Spruins safe seas several NATO naval groups have recently been operating unopposed 
The enemy's ability to efficiently operate around the Greenland Sea has been drastically diminished for reasons that remain classified. <laughs> Lasers. Oh. An enemy Oscar or Charlie class cruise missile submarine is attempting to break out through the Denmark Strait in order to attack vital North Atlantic convoys. You must sink it. One or more nuclear attack sub escorts. The Denmark Strait, so they're departing from like frickin' uh, Leningrad. Alrighty, so we gotta head for uh, the Denmark Strait. Make best speed. Make best speed there, Mr. Candy. I don't know why I'm like talking about John Candy, but we're doing it. Uh, let me go kind of slow. I don't know where that surface ship is. Oh, the Denmark Strait. The Denmark Strait is an interesting area. Oh, oh okay. I was wondering why my sub stopped. is because it reached my cursor. Let's do slower at this point. I think this lighter color denotes deeper water. Oh, shit. That's the Denmark Strait. God damn it. I do not know my geography. I will save. I do not know my geography. I just went for Denmark. This is the Denmark Strait. Son of a gun. Go this way. <laughs> Alright, once I get kind of past a few more latitudes here, I should go uh, a little slower. Alright, let's uh, do this. <laughs> They're just kind of like out here now at this point. I gotta try and find them. Let me try and look at those orders again. Okay, so we probably just gotta head this way. Winning back Norway, very well. Hello, round and round and brown. Your name looks familiar. Let's go. Oh Jesus. Where are they gonna be? I may have lost them. Damn. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I wanted to fight those subs too. Oh boy. Shit, I have to oh, I have to go after this amphibious force now. I have seven torps. Why is nothing in the tubes? The tubes. Alright, I'm just loading up everything. I guess I can put a moss in here. I just have to go for the landing ships. Well, well. That is quite the insult, Mr. Marcus. <laughs> I mean, I know Greenland's part of, like, Denmark, technically, but I would expect the Denmark Strait to be where Denmark is <laughs> not like the Greenland Strait I guess I should probably know the Denmark Strait from my I just did that Dangerous Waters P3 mission into the storm I should know the Denmark Strait <laughs> alright well I'm in good position for Iceland for this force from Arkhangelsk I can just chill here at Reykjavik and just wait for them to kind of show up I wish I could rearm at Reykjavik or something. That would be nice. Is that them? Is that them? Is that them? I don't know. We will find out. They're coming here, right? Yeah, that was. They're coming to Iceland. Yeah, Reykjavik and Keplavik. So I can just wait right around here. Uh, I encountered an alpha but did not fight it because I was coming off... That's got to be them right there. I was coming off a, uh, a spec ops mission and only had three torps in the tubes. And alpha's driven by someone competent or rather fast. <laughs> okay, these guys... I, it looks like they're heading for the Denmark Strait. I may be able to intercept them up here in the Denmark Strait and get them a little closer. 
before they get to Reiki. Oh, or they gotta go that way. Oh, hello. I haven't seen this one before. Allied forces back in Norway. Control of the Atlantic is still an even contest. Yeah, it should be a little better, but I freaking messed up that Denmark straight stuff. I guess I should have just looked at my... I figured it should have been named on the map. Let's just wait right here. Sometimes they like to kind of slither, slither in around. I'm ooh, okay. Yeah, they're going back this way. I'm getting hungry. I have some burgers with like cheddar cheese and bacon in them already, so I might be making some of the. Okay, come up. I want to get right in front of them. Ah, shit! I should have stayed where I was. I got freaking greedy. Ah. <laughs> Don't make you hungry. All right, all hands, man your battle stations. Burnt, burnt, burnt. Shh. Sir. Already got a caution. I want to see what he that caution can see me at. Okay, what's their speed? They're kind of lackadaisical. Slow down. Let's. Uh, I want to classify these dudes. What's our conditions? Right at the duct. I need to get above it. Let's get above this duct. Classify some dudes. I am decently out of position, but we have a nice layer I can potentially get underneath of that. They have one helo aloft right now. Let's level out. Signature for Sierra 2. <clears throat> oh, there's lots of dudes to be classified right now, man. Lots of dudes to be classified. Let's keep turning a little bit. I don't care about this caution. I want to get the landing ships. That's what matters. I was so close to being in front of them. This is not a very good tactical position, but I'm a nuke boat, so I can maneuver. Uh, Rapucha. Sierra 1. Rapucha. Sierra 2. Uh, I'm Gwema. I don't even know what that's supposed to look like. If I saw that in Cyrillic, I'd be better able to pronounce that. Amguema. Sierra 6. Amguema. Sierra 7. What was that? That was close. I don't think it's a submarine. It could be a submarine. Probably not a submarine. Udaloy. This caution is very close. Ooh. Very close. Let's get beneath the layer. Get down there beneath the layer. I don't want that caution to start pinging me. He's right at detection threshold, so let's get down here. Uh, it's more or less crash dive. Let's freaking get underneath this layer. So we're not doing terrible. We can. Oh, that caution is pinging. We're not doing terrible. We can still kind of get in position here for some of these ships. Uh, potentially, yes, NM. It is potential to spot them through satellites. If they're shallow enough. Okay. Mm, that caution seems like he may have gotten a whiff of me. But let's go ahead to standard here. And let's keep diving. Honestly, let's keep diving. I'm surprised there aren't, like, some maze or some bears or something. But yeah, that caution seems to have gotten a whiff of me. Seems like that may be the case. If that's the case, I'm kind of just going to go up this caution's butt. Because he's baffles to me. He doesn't have a toad. <sighs> oh, really? That's ballsy. <laughs> but hello, Halasas. I, I, forgive me if I'm not correct, if pronouncing that correctly. Thank you, NM, for being here. Yeah, they all seem to be kind of just heading directly away. We may need to launch missiles at at least some of these freaking ships to try and sink some of them. Where is this helo? He's probably coming my way. Can I see any surface ships from him? No. 
I'm going full. I'm going to go full right now. And let's come more right this way. Try and catch up to these dudes. If I can. I'm using the permit class Anthony Smith. Yeah, that seems like a, a maneuver that they'll probably try and get make it so you can't do that because that seems very I wouldn't do that in real life that's basically my point <sighs> hello Michael Lanius is that supposed to be like miscellaneous like a, a play on miscellaneous or something <laughs> wow I have a 95% why do I have a 95% solution on the Oodalo? Is it because it's pinging? It's interesting. Maybe I should just take this freaking Kasha now while I have the chance to, because he's just going to be annoying later. Yeah, slow down. We're just going to take this guy out when we got the chance to. Come left a little bit here. Active, shallow. Might as well just take... Ooh, that Amguema is right there. I, I, that would be nice if it was right there. Okay, it seems to be a little further away. Let's go ahead and uh, launch. And that guy, I'm probably content to have that wire snap. That should be a pretty short hit. Because I really want to go for some of these, sir, these, uh, these other dudes that are much more vital to the landing effort. Oh, mm, keep that wire. He seems like he might be maneuvering. I should guarantee I get this guy. I really probably should. Let's go ahead and move this a little bit to about here. That should be fine. <clears throat> I can't wait to make one of these burgers. I'm so hungry. <laughs> I'm so hungry. A little bit more like that. That should be fine. I want to make sure I get this dude. I want to get him good. I mean, that Mark 48 can probably get acquisition at this point in time. Oh, I remember in the first in like the first video I did, there was a freaking hotkey for activate for enabling a tour, but I don't remember what it was. <laughs> uh, and and M Guema reacquired. Okay, that guy seems to be there. That Udaloy is so far up, we can kind of just work our way through the ranks unless he's going to start full steaming it this way. Okay, torpedo is enabling. Seems to have a direct lock right now. Four is the key. Four, 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 four. God, four. Yes, it will be nice to get rid of this guy. It will make it easier to get these other ships. Which I'm surprised I'm seeing. Moderate duct, moderate layer. You big dummy. <laughs> Au revoir, Monsieur Cashin. I think in one video I sunk like a Nakula and said like "Say la vie" once. That was like the most French thing I ever said. All right, these bastards—they be running, they be gunning. Let's see. I want to get a little closer to them, so let's up the full, head their way, head for them. Try and get a little closer. That Oodaloy is probably going to be bearing down on my butt at some point here. I would imagine so. I could probably hit these ships from here. I probably could. They're not very fast. But torpedoes are... No, don't reload that too. Torpedoes are... I, do... I only have six left. I think if I take out at least a few of these landing ships, that should be fine. Oh, ship four manually snaps the wire. <laughs> Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? 
Oh man, they, they are trying so hard to run away right now. They're like, oh my god, get out of there. <laughs> but yeah, those solutions are pretty strong. I could, I think I could get those guys right now. I think I could. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. We'll try the passive, we'll try the passive. I don't know if that now's a good time to try the passive torp, but we can try the passive torp. <clears throat> Where's that helo? Coming my way. We can close on these guys a little bit. Alright, let's try and, uh... I think we should probably try and launch on them now. I just can't do it, Captain. Stream be crapping. <laughs> I don't have the power. Oh, I wanted to set up the stream so it was better set for buffering instead of, uh... <clears throat> latency, but it's fine. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna shoot at these dudes. So let's go to two thirds. Two two. Uh fire. Two three. Uh change that other dude. Uh fire. May lose these bars at some point. We're kind of splitting the difference here. Hello, blonde prince. What is your question? You want Sam for smash on the sea this helo? What does that mean? <laughs> Chocolate rain. <laughs> I shall harpoon thine ass. Uh, that's a good question. I have not seen any such ice missions. This game takes place, I think, in October. So the ice hasn't may just be starting to come back at that point. Sierra eight. What the hell is Sierra eight? A cannon. Oh, there's another escort. There is another escort. Where's the frickin' uh, oh, it's because I don't have a tube selected right now. It's not showing the, the lead marker. Oh, they are trying so hard to get away. <laughs> Sierra. Yeah, that Oodalo and that kind of they gotta be bearing down on my ass right now. I may have to snap these wires at some point. I'm gonna go ahead and set this for active and shallow. They are trying so hard to get away. <laughs> Oh, this water's cold. We're in the North Atlantic right now. Yeah, this is cold waters. And we're so deep, it's probably like 34 degrees Fahrenheit, 1 degree Celsius. That's like the stable temperature for really deep in the ocean. I don't know why. Some kind of because physics or something like that. It is surely above zero Kelvin. Yes, I can tell you that much. It is above zero Kelvin. Live or die, I choose live. Isn't that like a quote from a movie? That sounds familiar. Where's this helo at? I don't know where this helo is. Oh, that's me. I think that's me. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, I should be fine. A little bit of a long run time on these torps. A little bit of a long run time. I was still on a five knots to be safe, though. Cannon. I should be having somewhat of a solution without Oodle. I'm getting pings from him. Oh, just you just got to get used to the system and get a feel for it. You just got to know what your crush depth is, and then just everything scales to that. I have not seen that Silent Hunter, Silent Hunter mod, Mr. Argus. I don't follow the Silent Hunter community too closely. Go flank. Dude. <laughs> yeah, I can just see you know, it. That's like an idea for a video, Emperor Spraz. Have a helo hovering in a place and try and like flank it and emergency blow right into it and see what happens. <laughs> absence of proof is not proof of absence. That is very correct. Very good. 
harpoon their butts. This guy will be turning on shortly. He may be snaking for... Oh, well, I still have the wire. Here, move it up a little bit. And that one is fine for, I think, number two. Uh, no, this is good here. Oh, this can be moved just a little bit more. I'm getting, like, really picky, but I'm willing to be, and they'll go, like, right in there. <laughs> oh, ramming does no damage right now. That's interesting. Oh, hello. Active. Seems to have a lock. Or no, I think it's just coming shallow right now. Snaking a little bit. There you go. Hello. And number three. Coming shallow. Number three is gonna... Oh, snake a little bit. About to go right up. Right in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, hello. Man, yeah, they look like they're standing still almost compared to those torps. Boom. Nice. They don't have any sonars. They don't know what the hell's going. They just know shit's blowing up, so they're just running away. <laughs> Collins versus Seawolf. Depends on the speed. Depends on the location. Lots of factors. Pow. Right in the kisser. That Conan is bearing down. Uh, let's reload with torpedoes. Get back to two. One. That cannon may have to go. I can go two-thirds here, I think. Where's that frickin' helo? I think the helo is behind me. Yes. Okay. There are... I'm not sure if that helo is even looking beneath the frickin' layer right now. Well, these Mark 48 torpedoes are designed to break the spine of a ship, and I imagine that would make it sink rather quickly. Uh, let's let's uh, let's come due south here. Still have not seen that Oodaloy in a while. I guess putting aside the maintenance concern concerns, they are rather quiet boats. This Rapucha is pretty far. I'm, mm, I'm not sure how much more I can go for at this point in time. I might need to just come due east and get that con in. I've taken out two of these ships. Oh, I forgot to scoot. Did I just burp? I wasn't even paying attention. Yeah, I should probably take out this Conan, huh? He's getting close. Getting close. The that shouldn't be that strong in the active. I'm beneath a layer, but I guess the, the shadow zone may be defunct at this range. November, very safe and very quiet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Gotta watch out for that frickin' caution. But I, I plan to keep the wire. I think after I get this con and I might try and disengage. I don't know if I can do much more catching up. I could possibly, I could possibly head east. Try and get at them on that other side. It's just that oodaloy. I don't know where that oodaloy is. Alright, let's match bearings and fire. Right there. Los! I have three more torpedoes left. I think I do need to disengage here. <sighs> but there's a helicopter. I guess I could fire harpoons. There's a helicopter, though. That's the only thing. Helicopter shows the devil. It's gosh dang helos, man. The gosh dang helo. Okay, that Conan seems to be wise about this torp coming up. So let's go ahead and move this back a little bit. 
to right there. Oh, well, how much is he going to turn? Maybe more like here is good. Yeah, come. Oh, <laughs> that thing turns pretty quick. It's like. Nyeh. Uh, yeah, I would say minimal. <laughs> oh, your avatar is like a weird Putin. I just noticed that. Hello, Ken. Greetings. Torpedo is running hot, straight, and normal. Well, all right. Hmm. Yeah, there's something weird going on with the ducks here. They seem to be able to hear stuff with the layers in the ducks. Excuse me. I guess it, uh, oh, scusi. Uh, scusi. Sticks? What do you mean, sticks? <laughs> the jig is up, the noose is out, they finally found me. A renegade who had it made. Did I just, I think I just mixed up bands there, and for that I apologize. Yeah, I just don't want to risk it. I don't want to... This, 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 this... My boat has already been hit twice by torpedoes. It's already had... It has battle scars. Ah, yes. Good old cold beer can. I had mine earlier. I had my two brews. That oodle always seems like it's getting close. So I got two out of five. Why is he turning this way? I don't know. But I get to see some of those nice wakes. Those wake ripples. They look so good. Food so nice, they named it twice. I apologize, Herr Sir. Damn. Oh, the helicopter is maneuvering. Let's go all ahead standard. I'm trying to think how greedy I should get here. Oh, it is sticks. Very good. Okay. I'm not sure who else I was potentially thinking of. I'm getting greedy. I'm getting greedy. I want to potentially go for more landing ships. I don't want them to potentially be able to land. Aircraft nearby. But on the other hand, I don't want to die. <laughs> and I, I should have had a better position, but I got too greedy maneuvering on the map. I should have stayed where I was. But I wanted to make sure... Yeah, I should have stayed where I was, because like, it's like basic defense. You don't have to move as fast as the offender to like cover the same ground. So I should have... Should have, like, been angling myself with respect to, like, Reykjavik and Keplavik instead of, like, moving kind of, like, laterally. I use the Harpoons because they do have a smaller radar cross-section than Tasms, but they're both not particularly stealthy, so I'm not sure how much that even matters in these close ranges. I do have a moss. Where's that helo? Oh, that helo. I don't know where that helo is. This cannon just went down. I guess I better just go, like, due south, honestly. Hello, Dan the man. Uh, Red Storm Rising, Marcus, you mean, like, reinforce alert? <laughs> Not particularly. Reinforce alert. Or that Red Storm Rising camp. Or not Red Storm Rising in Dangerous Waters, that's what I meant to say. Uh, oh, reload that, yes. So I no longer have any Mark 48s stored. I thought I just heard a Hilo. I don't know. It doesn't, they don't seem to be really having any. Oh, why did I order? I didn't know I ordered plane down. That's fine. Uh, I mean, these surface ships are so far away. I don't think I can get away from them at this point. 
aircraft nearby. I guess it's nearby in like a technical sense. I have no idea where it actually is. Maybe. Oh. That did sound pretty nearby. <laughs> Alrighty, we shall slow. I'm going to send the moss south. And then I'm going to break contact. And I'm going to come back north here and get out of here. Oh, don't tell me contact re Oh, they're so far away. Yeah, I can't catch up, so this mission's over. So I need to just break contact. So that moss will hopefully distract them while I make my getaway here. Aircraft nearby, weapons nearby. I guess my moss is... They're including my moss as a weapon. Oh, hello. Uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's speed up a little bit. Okay, yeah, definitely speed up a little bit. <laughs> Ooh, they seem to have found me. Countermeasure. Oh, God. Son of a... Son of a... Damn it. Uh-oh, this is not good. This is not good. The countermeasure did not work. Pump that stuff out. The reactor is damaged. Uh, this is not good. I think I'm going to sink. I may have to blow. God damn it, this was going so well. But I think he has now used up his two torpedoes. I think he has used up his two torpedoes now. Unless that other torpedo came from, like, a Silex. Okay, oh. They're kind of fighting that. We're we're really like near the tipping point here. The reactor is presently oh here repair the reactor dude repair the reactor. They're just keeping on top of that flooding there. By pumps do they mean like pumping stuff out or reactor pumps? I don't know. Uh, I'm playing on a difficulty where one hit is not a kill, Sonic the Hedgehog, but on higher difficulties it is. And yes, American subs should die after one hit. I have no power right now, Emperor Spraz, so I'm just holding like this up angle and uh... I am slightly overcoming the flooding. Because I managed- I remembered to, to pump out some of that ballast there. I guess the rudder can be amidships. It doesn't need to be turning anymore. We'll turn this way. I'm going to try and get out of here that way. Oh, the hull is 22%. That's a big cash. <laughs> should not be survivable. I should be dead as hell. Ugh. Man, that helicopter found me, man, the last second. Pumps repaired. Does that mean reactor pumps are, like... Pumping out water pumps, like bilge pumps. I don't, I'm assuming it means reactor pumps. Reactors repaired. We have propulsion. Uh, and we can now try and slink out of here. But we do need to come shallow so we can... What was that? That didn't sound very friendly. Uh... Not holding that oodaloy. Was that a depth bomb from the helicopter or something? Oh, that's another torpedo. But it seems to be just too far away. Seems to be just too far away there. Man, they're really just like right on the. Oh, we'll re repair the ballast at this point, yeah. Oh, I need to get out of here. This invasion better be stopped. Okay, it's all just reactor. That's fine. Oh, thankfully their shots are inaccurate right now. Because... But damn, that was a good drop, though. It, it didn't help that I was doing time-lapse. I really think, like, if a torp is in the water like that, it should probably take you out of time-lapse automatically. Because that, that was definitely because of the time lapse why I freaking was not able to react in time to that torpedo. I do have another moss. I forgot about that. Thank you kindly, Giannis. Giannis?
ballast repaired. Okay, all systems are repaired. <clears throat> and we are now controlling the flooding, so level out. Uh, bring that down. Well, where is this helo? Right over there. Doesn't have any more torpedoes, so that's good. Ugh, this is intense. This Oodaloy may become a problem, but uh, I should really come above the layer so I can hear that guy better. Just in case that Oodaloy comes after me. I feel like it would be dumb for him too. He has a, he has a landing force to protect, but he may. So I want to be able to hear him. Oh, does this let you cycle? Oh, that lets you cycle contacts. Okay. Oh, they, they moved the, the clicking to down here. Oh, shit. Uh, get... Frickin' flank it. Flank it. Flank it. Uh, where are these torps coming from? Countermeasure. Oh, boy. This is no bueno. Okay, get rid of that ballast. This is no bueno. Where is this guy going? Swing. Swing, swing, swing. I think that came from that helicopter just now. Oh, come at me, bro. Okay, I'm just going to countermeasure that guy. It's a little freaking sketchy for knuckle for me. Keep coming this way. No, not that way. The other way. That's what I get for looking down the long axis of the sub. Ugh. So we play our deadly dance. Maybe I should go a little deeper. Uh, is that good enough for a knuckle? Yeah, it is. Let's get deep. Let's get deep and try and get out of his plane. I don't want to get too deep. I don't want to get too deep. Okay, we gotta come back around. He has uh, got himself a lock there. Oh boy. Okay, let's a midship here. Uh, countermeasure. <clears throat> maybe I should just like be underneath the layer and just flank it out of here, honestly. And maybe he will go for some of these other countermeasures. That appears to be the case. I think we are good. Let's kind of press on this bearing here. Yeah, he's going for other countermeasures. Cool. Alright. I... Oh, that's another torpedo right frickin' there. Who is launching all these torpedoes? I mean, I guess it's possible there's like Silex launches, but I'm not seeing it. <clears throat> oh man, that guy's right there. Countermeasure. What is this guy... Is this guy locked on to me? Oh, shit. Uh, come back the other way. Countermeasure. I don't think I'm gonna die. Oh, no. What the hell? Ugh. Alright, we'll abandon ship, then. Three ships escaped, but I sunk a good bit. Lost with all hands. Oh no. Yeah, that passive son of a bitch. But I got, I think I prevented the, uh, oh no. Didn't I prevent the, I thought I prevented the, well I guess not all of it, but some of it. UK blockaded. <clears throat> An iron curtain descended on Europe. <laughs> A lasting monument to all those brave souls who served aboard. Uh, well, I guess that's the end of my first campaign, not how I thought it would go. But I had a good run with the uh, the permit there. I don't, yeah, I thought there was just one helo, but I guess there could have been more. 
and I thought with Silex launches that it usually like shows you every time something launches. But yes, very well. Okay, so that is the end of that campaign then. I guess I, I better watch the credits here. Oh, there's Kuznet stuff. It's burning. Kuznet stuff is burning. Oh, there was that one time. Oh, well, oh, look at that. Jeez. And I like how the planes are still on it. <laughs> Test crush depth? I don't want to test crush depth, that's terrifying. Oh, shooting, what is he shooting deck guns at, I guess, into the water? Alrighty. Oh, there's a, I have yet to get a land attack mission, there's a tomahawk. Oh, there, there it is shooting that damn RBU. Yeah, killerfish game, is that what he looks looks like? They always look so bad in dangerous waters, I'm assuming that one is more correct. <laughs> oh, that's just going to repeat then. Okay, so that's that. I'm actually going to end the stream here, so thank you guys for watching. I need to eat. I am hungry. Uh, but yes, this was a good stream until the end. I did not impede the Icelandic invasion because I was out of position. Oh, those damn helicopters are so dastardly. But yes, I will see you all later. So uh, have a good one. I may be streaming again this weekend. Uh, but if I, if not, it may be a few days more before that because I got to pack and move here soon. But I will definitely see you guys soon. So thanks for watching. See you guys later. Have a good one. And as always, good hunting.